Hello there, and welcome to lesson number two in this series of Rhino 6 tutorials. If you want to follow along, you can go ahead and open up the model that is called Rhino 6 Lesson 02 Navigation.3DM. Okay, now, basically, this is what Rhino is going to look like when it opens for you by default. Okay, you're going to have four different windows. You've got a top window, which is basically looking at something in plan, you've got a perspective window that is basically looking at something in perspective. You've got a front view, which is looking at an elevation, and you've got a right view, which is also looking at elevation. You can go ahead and change these views if you'd like, but for the most part, you're going to have all four um, views. Now, we're going to talk a little bit about navigation. Okay, now you can see right here where it says zoom, you can use the scroll wheel. So if you have a scroll wheel on your mouse, you can roll in and out. Now, if I'd like to pan, which means move to the left or the right or up and down, I can either click my shift button and right click and I can do that. Or if I'm in my top, my front, my right, any sort of ortho view, I can actually just right click to um, pan. Now, if I'm in my perspective, I can zoom in and out with my scroll wheel. Now, if I want to uh, pan, I actually have to hold down my shift button and then I can go ahead and right click. Okay. Now I'm also going to double click on this perspective window. When I double click on this perspective window, I can actually, this window becomes a single window. Okay. And now down here at the bottom, you'll notice it says perspective, top, front, right. If I click on the top um, tab right here, I actually can see things in the top view. If I click on the front tab, I can see things in the front view. If I click on the right tab, I can see things as they would appear in the right view. I can go back to perspective and I can see things in the perspective view. If I double click on this perspective in the upper left, I actually get all four views again. Okay. I'm going to go back to my perspective one more time. All right. Now I can scroll to zoom in and out. I can hold down my shift and right click to pan. I can also go ahead and orbit. Okay. By orbiting, orbiting is only something you can do in the perspective window. If I right click here, I can if I right click uh, on my mouse, I can actually, I'll actually see this little um, orbit symbol here and I can go ahead and orbit. So let's go ahead, go into our top view here for just a second. Double click on my top view. I'm going to use my text object. Okay. So my text object is basically a way for me to make some text that looks like an object, which is what we s have seen in here. Now, if so, if I want to orbit, I'm just going to go ahead and select this line here and type in orbit in perspective. Put a little dash in there. Right click. And I'm going to hit OK. And here I've just added another line of text. Okay, so I'm going to double click on my perspective. Oh, I'm in my perspective. So I'm right clicking and I'm orbiting. Okay, zooming in and out, holding down shift and panning. Now, those can also be seen up at the top here, right? Um, but these are kind of the hotkeys that I think you should, should memorize in terms of that. So you notice right here, if I right click on this little hand. I'm actually in the pan command. If I right click on my uh, this guy, I'm actually in that command. This one will allow me to zoom in and out. This one right here is pretty good. Okay, this, this little magnifying glass with this um, line around it, that will do what's called a zoom target. So if I click on that one, I can go ahead and just left click draw a little uh, box around these objects and then you'll zoom on in there and then that will become sort of the center of your world. All right. I'm going to hit escape to get out of that command. All right now and this time I'm going to go into my perspective. I double click on my perspective and I'm going to start to zoom out. And you notice in order to make a window active, you'll notice up here, this is light gray. This is baby blue light gray, light gray. The one that it has baby blue in it is actually your active window. 
So I'm going to go ahead and zoom way out. And this is going to happen to all of you at some point. Now I'm going to make my click into my right view, make that one active. And I'm going to zoom way out. And I'm going to go to my front view, click into that window, zoom way out. Okay. Now this is very, very common. At some point, you're all going to get lost. Right up here, you've got this little window right here. It says zoom extents. Okay. As I hover over it, I actually have two options. It says here if I left click, it'll do the zoom extents. And if I right click, it'll do zoom extents all viewports. That basically means it's going to find everything in your model and it's going to show you absolutely everything in your model. Right? I've lost my model in all four of my viewports, so I'm going to right click on this. And when I do that, everything in my model shows up. Now, you notice here, if I go to my top view, and I zoom way out and I just draw, I know you don't know how to do this yet, but if I just draw a rectangle there, right now my model is actually much, much bigger. So I'm going to zoom back in here and now I'm going to do my zoom extents in just this window. So I'm going to left click and when I do that, it extends, it zooms out and it shows me this, which is in my model and that, right? So I'm going to go ahead and delete this again. And now I'm going to go back to my zoom extents and it shows me absolutely everything I need. Okay. Now, one other thing that may happen, right, is you may end up, for example, clicking on your rotate view and you might end up in your top view and somehow turn that into perspective by clicking on this little orbit tool, right? In order to get your top view back to true ortho, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to go up here to top, click on that triangle, going to go down to set view, and I can either say plan or top, they're the same thing, uh, so I'll just go back to top, and there we go, we're back in the correct view again. So those are some of the more common things that are going to tend to happen to you. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and stop the lesson right here, and in the next lesson we're going to talk uh, about um, drawing our very first lines. Thank you very much.